Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic Transfer Talk video. Today we're talking about, I'm pretty sure I've talked about him before in general, I'm not too sure. If I haven't, guys, it is about Josip Juranovic to Celtic. Um, as Ange Postcoglu prioritised Croatian defender after Jan Kuto, um, the, the negotiation, negotiation stalled apparently, it was looking, it was going well apparently, but now the negotiations have just, you know, basically collapsed and Ange Postcoglu has prioritised Croatian defender. Let's get into it, guys. Before we get into it, guys, recent important channel has been excellent. I mean, the I mean, the match day vlogs are getting like 1k views now. Like, we've got 3,000 3, on the Europa League one. I'm going to Europa League we'll in this week. The further, the playoff round, first leg, Celtic part, we take on the AZ out match. It's going to be a tough match. We'll talk a bit more about that, obviously, in the match preview tomorrow or, yeah, tomorrow. Um, Celtic have made Josip Janovic the new transfer priority according to reports in Croatia. Uh, Ange Postko is on the lookout for a new right bat and various names have been linked with a switch to Celtic part of the summer. I mean, you know, I mean, you look, you know, you always we need to look for depth, you know, we don't have much depth in right back, but Anthony Ralston, you know, you got to give him credit because he's he's tried his hardest and he's showed it in the last few games. Um, Dundee game, going into the Europa League second leg and the... Uh, yesterday's game it was excellent you've seen that guys in the match vlogs and the, I was talking about the three things we learned video last week against Dundee I mean it was excellent I mean some some credit has to go to him but we need depth and you know like Sari Ario Buta was tipped as an early target but interest from English Premier League appears to have killed that one dead Man City Jan Kuto was then lined up alternative and he intended Celtic's win over Javan and European people are thinking you know oh, he's a team that always oh, going to sign but the end of the day um, Braga in for the visit around so that's maybe why as well, but um, Jovanovic's name has been in the background all throughout the window, and it's now reported that by Croatian outlet Index that hoops have made him the priority. Um, that comes after the Daily Record claim last week Celtic were lining up a 10 million double transfer for Jovanovic and Stigger Thomas Lundin, given uh, only he is expected to set them back around 7 million. That would mean the park had side have 3 million set aside for their new right back. Is that enough for Jovanovic? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, but the index say the offer on the table from Celtic is nowhere near that, near what Lego was or what looking for. I mean, that's just, you've seen it all along Celtic, get the finger out and get depth in the, the areas we need, you know. Anthony Ralston, you can do, you can be the best right back ever, but you need depth there in case he gets injured or something, do you know what I mean? We need depth there. Um, they do, however, say that Ange Postcoglu's team aren't discouraged uh, um, and are pushing hard to get the deal done as soon as possible. And, I mean... We want to try and get it done. I mean, thanks for Thomas on me as well. Hopefully, you get a big strike in because you know Edward looked really good yesterday. That's probably a really good game. I've seen him in a while, but um, Celtic are out of Jan Kuto's race and now um, they're sticking with Juranovic. And um, you had Jan Kuto had been at Parkhead watching Hoops beat Jablonek in Europe League qualifier last week. Well, well, the 19-year-old was in Glasgow. His agent uh, is understood to be in Portugal. Oh, sorry, yes. there you go, you know what I mean? The player could be Glasgow, Portugal, I mean, uh, of a potential loan switch to Braga, who have been keen on the youngster all summer. Nothing has finalised all the, uh, at the time, however. A um, few reports have said Kuto is now likely to head to Braga on a season-long switch with La Liga 2. The outfit Girona also still note for a hope of convincing the defender to move to Spain. Celtic, meanwhile, have always been in contact with Fjernovic's representatives and want a deal done ahead of their AZ Altmar tie this week. It's not expected to go through before that time, but a 2.5 million offer could be uh, could still be tabled. Uh, it's understood the Liga also are willing to sell as they need cash following their exit from the Champions League uh, and are ready to allow their player to move on. Uh, Postcall is in need of reinforcements, it's clear to see it right, uh, a full bat on the right hand side with just Anthony Ralston now available, he's brilliant Anthony Ralston, but we need depth, as you know, people are saying. And Janovic 26 fits the bill with his pace going forward and crossing abilities, which is another perfect thing we need. Um, he was Croatia's first choice right back at the Euro, um, sadly, uh, he was on that team that beat Scotland 3-1. Um, but yeah, I think that's it, I mean... It, I mean, hopefully we get Juranovic over the line because he looks a solid right back. I mean, if you look at if you look at um, I mean, if you look at his stats, he's got he's twenty six, which is great. Good year for a, a, a footballer. I mean, a, a right back. He's going to look good. Hopefully for Celtic. Hopefully he's good the right back position. Um, he's got a decent height as well. So hopefully um, Celtic get this deal done. Get the finger out and get the deal done. Pay the whatever money extra. So I mean, 
I mean, it's just stupid. I mean, Lego Wars, I want somehow and revolve the lore and that. I mean, you've seen it done before, Celtic have done it, but at the end of the day, get the deals done, as Anne's Postco said. He needs the depth. I mean, you still see it, you know, you need that. You just need players in that will fit right in the first team if some players are tired. Or, I mean, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? With depth and we're getting there, we're getting there. There's no doubt about that, we're getting there, but we need more. Um, that's the start of it. Um, but fingers crossed, guys, we get Juranovic over the line and maybe potentially Thomas Henry as well from the Belgian League. Um, but that's all down to, if, you know, I was speaking about last week about Thomas Henry, I was probably for Edward's replacement. I mean, we're, we're knowing when, I mean, Celtic have reported that there was no interest at all. I mean, we were speaking like Brighton were interested, you know, I think it was potentially going to be done deal, was it last week or something? I mean, it's just paper talk. I mean, I mean, now we're, I mean, we're on the 16th of August and there's not, there's not long to the transfer market shuts and it looks like Edward will have to maybe run, potentially run down his 12 month left of his contract and so to have to let him go for free, which is a big loss. I feel that you could have got some money when they were offered on the table, um, if there was any, uh, but that money from Edward, if he had to go, had it, had it went, um, would have been towards Jovanovic and also on me, that's potentially why we couldn't get the deal done, but Celtic have still got money there and they need to get the finger out to actually get the deal done, or else we're just going to lack in depth all season and it's, it shows some defensive wise we're still lacking there. Starfelt, it's a simple mistake, it's a simple defending and you can't deal with it. I mean, balls over the top, I mean, the Welsh is showing up and he's young, he's younger and he's a young, youngster. You, you're just proves you, do you know what I mean? You got, I know you, people might say, oh, she's, he's only a couple of games in, but it's simple defending and he's got to learn, he's really got to learn because trying to go for this title this season is going to be hard. It's really going to be, trying to get in Europe is going to be hard. I mean, AZ Altmar is still a tough side, so we need to get transfer done, we need to get Yaravich done, right back done, we um, need to get Tommy on me, fingers crossed, and maybe, if, I mean, if you don't need to get him done, really, but depth-wise, you need to, yeah, he's not looking up to scratch at all, does he, really? I mean, he had a chance yesterday, but his touch is white, he's, he's not a Celtic trigger, no, trigger, no way. Another five mile down the drain, I mean, we need, we need to get the dead wood at the door, but as I say, Celtic are hard to get that done, but fingers crossed we can get it away. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and like, thanks for watching this transfer Celtic summer transfer talk video on the 16th of August. Um, next video will be the match preview of AZ Altmar tomorrow, and then match day vlog. Thank uh, back for the Europe League playoff round first leg on Wednesday night. I'll be the game, so another good, exciting vlog uh, match day vlog coming up for you guys on Wednesday. Busy schedule coming ahead, so. Make sure I have notifications, subscribe, mate, and I'll see you guys in that video shortly.